Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Coco Renee and I am back with another video. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe, drop a like, comment, and share. Today's video is going to be an unboxing of something that I've been procrastinating on and that's getting a new lens. I already had the 15 by 45 kit lens that came with the M50. And then of course, you know, I bought the 22 millimeter as well, which was not cheap when I bought my camera. That lens, that lens is amazing. I'm actually using it right now. I love the background blur. I just love how it looks in low light. But it's just not enough space. It's like, it just seems so cropped out. See, already cropped out with already cropped cameras. In the market looking for a vlogging lens for this camera. And it was really between the Sigma 16 millimeter and the 11 to 22 millimeter. And the only reason I didn't get the Sigma 16 millimeter lens is because it was back ordered. And I felt like that was a sign from God saying, girl, slow down, back it up, back, back it up. Because that one, that lens is like, $400. Opted out and got the 11 to 22 millimeter, which I saw tons of reviews on, and that was like the next best lens. I got it, and I'm super excited to share that with you guys. So don't forget to subscribe, join the family, and stay tuned because you guys, this is a game changer. If anybody out there is vlogging with the M50 and you're looking for a vlogging lens, the 11 to 22 millimeter because that right there is going to change the game and here it is y'all hate that okay here you go right here this is the canon 11 22 millimeter guys i am super excited for this so we have our canon limited warranty bust out the instructions y'all i have my window like wide open and i used to be like kind of embarrassed like somebody's gonna see me recording look like i'm talking to myself but since i live across the street from my uncle it's like, he's probably like, Nisi, what are you over there doing? You ready, bored? But I'm not bored. I'm talking to my people. So here we go. The Canon interchangeable lens instructions. This is not what you're here for. You're not here for the paper. You're not here for the instructions. We're here for the good stuff. Ah. Y'all. This lens is everything. dollars it should look beautiful right this thing is so pretty so sexy the glass you could just tell that it's made out of it has real glass in there canon zoom lens efm 11 22 millimeter i am super excited and i want to let you guys know why i chose this lens um one uh, look at god because i was about to i was like this close to ordering a Sigma 16 millimeter lens and whoa that gym was like four something it was like 399 plus tax it probably was like four something and I went to the website and it was back ordered and I just felt like it was a sign from God saying no this is the lens for you you go too fast you're just starting out try the Canon 1122 millimeters like everybody else, of course, I did my research. I looked on YouTube and watched like millions of thousands of contrillions, billions of reviews on this lens. And I feel like this has to be the better choice for me. Although I love my 22 millimeter, that lens is really great for low light. I don't think this is going to be like the low light lens for me, but it's going to give me that large background that I want. So let's try this bad boy out. Hey Zai, what's going on today? Well, we're about to do this volcano experiment. Volcano experiment? Where did you get it from? My birthday. It was yesterday. Awesome. So, what do you have laid out? I have 
vinegar, baking soda, the volcano, a cup, a, a smaller cup, a mixing thing, and the thing that sucks up liquids. All right, did you read your instructions? Did it come with any instructions? Yes. All right. So the first one I already did, I put these two pieces together. Okay. Then the next was pour a spoonful of baking soda into the volcano. So let's do that. Got that baking soda. You got that good baking soda. Arm and hammer right there. Hey. Hey. You have to get a full one. Yeah. Make a mess. Pour it in there. Vinegar. Get that white vinegar. Can you hold this one? Not the measuring cup. Measuring cup, baby. Oh, yeah. Can you hold this one? Getting help by his big papa. All right. Says make sure. Make sure what? Okay. I think we did that wrong. This. Because it says that was right. It said a spoonful. Okay. That's all right. So pour that vinegar back. Uh, pour it in the grass. Mm, yeah, just pour it in the grass. Bottom. Pour it in the grass. Don't pour it back in the bottle. That's the, that's the thing about experiments. You can make mistakes. To the cup. Okay, you would have had too much vinegar. I see, I see. Then you get. What is that called? It's like a syringe. Okay, a syringe. Then what's next? Nice? Then, I guess it's just a spoonful. Oh wait, hold up, is this, the, is this the finale? Oh. What? And the best thing about it is that you can like pour it out and do it again, right? I definitely like this one better than the other one we had. Alright, go Kino Experiment. 101. Yeah. Well, this is over. I guess we'll see you next time. Peace. Bye.